I've had another delivery at Ixis on Tech. Let's find out what's inside. Hi everyone and welcome to another IoT Ixis on Tech. I am Ixis. On today's episode, I'm going to unbox some new goodies. I ordered uh, quite a few items off Amazon and they got delivered the other day. I've also ordered some stuff off eBay, but let me show you this one item I ordered. So I had a text saying my power supply had uh, been delivered. I was like, power supply? I haven't ordered a power supply. <laughs> well, I was like, how do you know it's a power supply? It says on the box. So I get home and what do I find? this <laughs> it's not even in a box it's just plainly wrapped it's an evga 600 watt psu power supply for my pc because i've got another goodie that needs to go in there and i needed um, some more power so that's the first item that got delivered uh cost me 25 pound odd because i bought some other items off amazon they said if you use the app we'll give you 10 pound off your first order if you use the app so yay i got this uh, for quite a really good price actually so the other items Let's have a look what's inside. It makes a rattling noise. There are a few items in here. So I have a pair of scissors. I know you probably can't see it, but <laughs> let's tilt you down a bit. Oh, I can just about see anyway. Right, let's cut it away. I'm so happy with this uh, delivery. I've been wanting one of these for a while. If you've seen one of my previous videos, then I think it was about the uh, the cooler. You know that I wanted something to go in my PC. Let's see that Never mind. Ooh, goodies! Oh, I'm so hot. Oh. So first off, I have ordered myself another version tech mouse. Now the reason why I've ordered one of these is because I want to go with a laptop, so I can keep this one up here in in the in the studio <laughs> bedroom. And oh, the top of my head's cut off. Hang on, move you up. There we go. So I can keep this one um, upstairs, for example, and the other one downstairs on my laptop. So I, I like to edit from down there and up here. So there's another uh, version tech mouse. If you haven't seen the video review on this one, then click the link below. Let's put that by there next to its uh, little brother or sister. I don't know. Next we have an Arctic. 120 mil, I think it was 120 mil, yeah, 120 mil um, case fan. So the plan is to put one of those in the front of my PC to suck all the hot air out through the CPU cooler and then through the back of the case. That I think was 499 on Amazon, by the way. What else have we got? Another stick of HyperX Fury uh, DDR3 RAM for my PC. My PC is only DDR3, I don't know if you've heard about that before, but. Um, Having this now, it takes me up to 16 gigabytes. And the Piers de Resistance, what I've been wanting for a long time. A Radeon RX 570, eight gigabyte graphics card. So yes, I wanted one of these for a while. Uh, bought it, I think it was Wednesday, last Wednesday, because it was payday. <laughs> Not so much payday anymore. So yeah, I'm hoping this is gonna really help with my video rendering when I'm rendering the videos on my PC so I can have the live preview window. Hopefully that'll be more in real time and the special effects, for example, or text overlays, fades, etc. they'll flow more smoothly by using one of these. Also with my blender. Um, I posted a video yesterday where I was doing a render on this PC and it took over nine hours just to do, what was it, 100 and uh, 180 frames, but I did have the denoising set to level six, so that made a really clean looking video. So, what has this got then? I don't know if you're into graphics cards, you probably are, uh, probably that's why you're watching this video. So it's a gaming eight gigabytes, RGB Fusion, WinForce, RX 570, I can't wait to plug this thing in. That's why I bought the new power supply, the EVGA 600 watt power supply. On the back, what have we got? Some lovely pictures here, WinForce, two times cooling system, one click super overclocking, RGB fusion with 16.7 million customizable color options and numerous lighting effects. You could choose the right scheme for your gaming rig through Aura's graphic engine. Equipped with two 90 millimeter unique blade bands and composite heat pipes, direct touch GPU. Winforce two times cooling system delivers an effective heat dissipation capacity for high performance at lower temperatures. Now on this uh, graphics card, we do have a DVI-D, HDMI and three display ports. Now my monitors, they're currently running with DVI cables plugged into my very old 
AMD Radeon, I think it's a 4650 graphics card with <laughs> one gig of RAM. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be such a big upgrade. The only problem is I think my CP CPU is going to be the bottleneck here. Um, as you probably heard in other videos, it's an AMD Phenom uh, 2 quad core 955 clocked at 3.2, but I have got AMD Overdrive, which allows me to overclock it further. The highest I've got it was 3.6. I did try 3.7, but it, it kept crashing. So I'm, I'm happy with 3.6 gigahertz. It's a four core, four thread processor, by the way, if you look through your old processors, so I'm looking, really looking forward to plugging this in and seeing what Blender looks like and also my video editing. That will be a video for another day. Other deliveries I had as well, uh, little packets here off uh, the eBay. This will only come today, so that's why I'm a bit late in making this video. I wanted to make it yesterday, but mm, post. So let's get those scissors. I know what's in this, but I hope I don't press it in half. Oh, I think you can press this. Anyway, it is another microphone, like one of these. <laughs> so the plan is I'm going to be doing a couple of videos with other people who run other channels. So I want to have another microphone so we can both have sound rather than doing a, a Hoovies garage, for example, and standing close to the person so you could hear them on a microphone. There's a new microphone. And the last bag, the last delivery. I said this one only came today. It is. It's a Xiaomi media temperature and humidity sensor, a Bluetooth one to go with the Xiaomi hub that I bought ages ago. So the plan is to stick this in a room and uh, hopefully we'll be able to ask Google. Hopefully it'll work with Ift, if this and that, uh, with the Xiaomi gateway, or even just hopefully just with the Google Voice because uh, apparently that now all works uh, together. Google Home and the Xiaomi ecosystem. Um, so that's a Bluetooth. It's got a digital display shows the temperature on the top and the humidity down the bottom. It's Bluetooth and it's battery powered, everything comes in there. So I'll be making another video on that and how easy this will be to hook up to the media gateway. <laughs> all right, so there's all my gadgets for today. So I'm really looking forward to everything. But before I go, I am gonna open up this bad boy to have a look at you, see what it looks like. One, two, three. Ooh. That's smaller than what I was expecting. <laughs> but saying that, it's only a twin fan. So uh, if it's a three fan, it would not fit in my case. I measured my case a few times just to make sure it would fit in. And I think uh, the stack of hard drives I've got in there, I might have to like jiggle those around a little bit. But, uh, ooh. Very nice. Gigabyte on the back. Gigabyte on the side. Uh, probably can't see this on the video, but that will light up RGB along with the fan stop button. Nice fans. So I've got the helicopter you can hear it going around outside. Let's open it up. Ooh. Electronic technology. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to buy the new power supply as I mentioned earlier on just because I needed that little um, eight pin connector by there. My uh, PC because it is so old. I would have had to have bought like um, a Molex connector and a four pin, two and eight pin. But when I checked the power supply in my PC, I didn't even have the four pin. So I, I couldn't even do that. So this looks very nice. I take up the two slots on, in my PC case. That doesn't matter. Okay, let's put that down. Over there and have a look what else is in the box. So off with the foam, a quick start guide. And one of these round things. Anybody know what they're called? Oh, I'm so old. Um, what do they call them again? Those round things, frisbees. Go to the website and download the latest drivers anyway because I don't know how this packaging is. Graphics quick start, so mini dirty. Oh, very good, Mr. Barnes. So I'm really looking forward to installing this and see how great it makes everything run. Let's drop that over there. All right, so this um, unsuspecting packaging, the EVGA, let's have a look what's in this box. Uh, I said the last time I bought a power supply was when I built that PC, which was uh, probably about a millennia ago, to be honest. Oh, thinking about it, 
It was when I went to New York, um, I'll flash up on the screen below anyway, when I actually built this PC, EVGA. Oh, it was this way. So it's an EVGA, 600 watts, um, 80 plus certified power supply. Installation screws, that's handy. Um, hit to the bottom of the box there. Got the UK uh, plug with the kettle adapter on the end of it. Normal power supply. Ooh, black braided cables. Take this out. No RGB on, ooh, no RGB on this. Let's have a sniff of this. Ooh, yeah, that smells like electrics. Mmm, very nice. So that'll go in my case that way because my power supply is at the top on my PC. And so it'll suck in the cold, well, cool air, air into the bottom and out to the back of the PC as it does at the moment. Very nice PCI cable there. There you go. That's the one I needed for my graphics card that I haven't got, currently got on my PC. So that is, I think, enough. Saturn. I'll tell you what, what uh, connections it has all together. It has 120 plus four pin ATX cable, so that, that will that will power your motherboard. One eight pin, four plus four, four plus four pin CPU cable. So it's one times two by eight, six plus two pin PCIe VGA cable, two times three SATA cables, and one times three Molex and a floppy cable, a floppy cable. <laughs> Aren't all cables floppy? <laughs> So I'm going to make a video uh, over the next week now, I've got a week off my full-time job, so I'll be installing the power supply into my PC and I'll be installing the graphics card into my PC, running a few benchmarks and of course the mouse and the RAM and the uh, little fan. So that is all my tech that I've had delivered over the last few days. Um, if you want to get in touch with me then please follow me on Twitter. Did I say that right then? If you want to get in touch with me, then please follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Exis on Tech. It'll be along the screen at the bottom by there. And yeah, that's uh, it for today. So thank you very much for watching Exis on T. Exis on T. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching IoT Exis on Tech. I am Exis, and I'll catch you again on the next one. Bye bye.